Hi, my name is Nasser. In this video, I'm going to show you how you set up a snow trail in Unreal Engine. So, if you hit to play, uh, we have a main character here and uh, two NPC. So, uh, what I do first here is actually open the snow effect project and we need to uh, bring this asset uh, to our uh, NPC project. To do this, uh, let's migrate overview map to our project. So we will right click this and I'm going to click migrate. Hit OK and I'm going to find our Unreal project folder and we're gonna to select content and hit select folder. Now we have a SnowFX folder here. Okay, we don't need this anymore. So I start uh, with making a landscape. Alright, so I'm gonna delete this, go to the landscape. Uh, you can keep default value here, actually it doesn't matter, and hit create. Back to select mode. As you can see, I need to move the landscape along the z-axis. I hit the play. That's okay. Landscape uh, needs a material, so I'm going to make a material here. I call this landscape material. This is a very basic material. So open the material and enable use material attribute. We use a landscape layer blend here. I'm only using two layers. I'm going to add a snow layer here and ground layer here. I will choose the height blend for a snow layer. So I will plug the result here into the material attribute node. I'm going to right click here and get a uh, make material attribute. I connect this to layer ground. We need some texture here, so I'm going to a snow effects texture and choose this texture. And I will drag this here to the material. And I uh, connect this to the base color and repeat the same process for remain textures. We need to adjust the tile of this texture, so I'm gonna need a texture coordinate node here. Also, I need a, a divide node, so I'm holding D on keyboard and left click. I plug this into the, into the divide node. Also, we need a scalar parameter here, holding S and left click. I call this ground tile. I'm going to set this default value to 1. I plug the result into UV input of this texture. I use this height map later, so for now we don't need to do anything. So this looks okay. I'm going to try that for the snow layer as well. Uh, we have a snow material function, so I'm going to snow effects, material, material function, the snow. I will drag this here to the our material. Plug this into a snow layer and same for height map. So that's it. That's basically how you arrange your landscape material. Hit apply. Now I'm going to make an instance of uh, this landscape material. I will select my landscape actor and I drag that here to the landscape material. So we have to do some painting in landscape mode. As you can see, uh, we have two layers here. I'm going to make two weight layer here.
I want to add some snow here, lower my brush size, paint some snow here. I think this is okay. Back to select mode. Now we need uh, apply tessellation to our landscape. Our uh, trail system rely on tessellation because we need more polys uh, to have uh, enough detail. As you can see, the landscape by itself has uh, not nearly enough vertices. So for tessellation, uh, we are going to switch over to our landscape material. Uh, in detail panel, I am going to scroll down and come here to the tessellation section. I am going to turn this to flat tessellation and adjust this to uh, 20. That's it. It's applied. You can see that if I switch over to my wireframe, uh, we have much more vertices here. Now time to set up our trail system. In material side, uh, we need a specific uh, material function. Uh, to do that, go to a snow effects, material, material function, uh, trail, select this and drag that here to the landscape material. I have two input pins here, material attribute. So I plug this to here and uh, a snow landscape layer. Actually this pin uh, will tell to trail system which one of all layers is snow. So in order to do that, I need a landscape layer sample. And I set my snow layer name here. So I plug this to this pin and I like the result to uh, material attribute. Now hit apply. And uh, hit play. As you can see, nothing happened. Uh, we, need, we need to do one more thing. Okay, I select the third person character here and click on edit third person character. So now we have a character blueprint here. Okay, I need to go to um, in uh, Snowflakes folder, third person, and uh, click on third person character blueprint. Uh, let's take a look uh, real quick here. I need this plug. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So we need to do three things here. Uh, the first thing uh, that we need to do is a plug uh, event begin palette to here. And second thing uh, that we need to create these variable here. And for final step, we need to have an arrow component. So I add a arrow component here. Uh, Move it down. It's very important. We need to put arrow under the character foot. Uh, so I am going to switch to event graph and drag the arrow to here. Okay, we finish here. Hit compile and save. So I will close this and this. And uh, let's take a look here. Um, we need to do one more thing. Select a uh, landscape actor. Uh, in detail panel, uh, search for tag. I'm going to add the tag here. And I should call this snow. Hit play. Now we have some trails here. For uh, next step, we need to set up trail system for our uh, NPC character. Don't worry, it's easy. Now time to set up the trail system for our NPC character. I'm going to Snowflake folder, blueprint. Uh, we need this uh, actor here, uh, BP Trail Actor. 
Uh, in viewport, I will select the uh, PC actor and it's edit NPC. Switch to viewport and it's at component and search for child actor. Now I'm going to select this and go to NPC and hit this arrow here. Okay, now we have a blueprint trail actor. Now I'm going to move child actor under the fit. We need to do one more thing here, go to the default and adjust this number here, the tip. Uh, because the child actor is near the fit, uh, let's uh, try 50. Hit compile and let's play. As you can see, we have a tray for our NPC. That's okay. Okay, our tray system works fine. Now we need uh, some height here. Uh, we need to push the stone layer away from the ground. So I'm going to switch to our landscape material. We need control or work displacement. And in order to do that, we need to know two things. Uh, we need to know how high uh, to displace and what direction uh, to displace in. And, and uh, so for our height, uh, we can use the height pin uh, of our uh, material function here. So I grab the height of my snow and multiply by a scalar value. So I call it height of snow. I'm going to set this default value to 1. Plug the scalar value to multiply. Now we need to uh, multiply uh, this result to uh, direction of our displays. So I grab uh, this and type multiply. For uh, direction, uh, we can use the vertex normal and plug this to here and plug the result to uh, word uh, displacement. Okay, that's it. It's apply. Now let's find uh, our uh, landscape material instance. So. I will open the um, landscape material instance. So I need this uh, parameter, so I enable height of snow and adjust uh, this uh, parameter. Let's try 20. Now hit to play. Uh, you can see we have uh, we have trail system here, but uh, we have some problem uh, with the uh, landscape. So I select the landscape actor and uh, we have um, position Z bound extension. Uh, I need to increase this number, uh, but be careful this uh, effect uh, to our performance. So I let's try 20. Everything uh, is OK. But, as you can see, we need more uh, intense uh, trail effect uh, by our NPC. So, um, for uh, do that, uh, I need to go to a slow effects, material, material, parameter collection. I'm going to open this uh, material parameter collection. So, as you can see, we have a lot of parameters here. Um, if I increase this uh, to 10, I think, and hit to save. Now, as you can see, uh, we have more intense trail uh, made by our NPC character. I will explain these parameters in another video. Okay, that's it. Uh, and thanks for